Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we've got a little stationery haul, and then I'll probably play around with the stationery I got and prep some of my journal pages. I went to Michael's just now, and I picked up some stationery. I got some things that I've never tried before, so I'm pretty excited. But yeah, let's just get right into it. First off, I got the Tombow Air Touch, so it's just a type of their glue tape. But I've never tried the Air Touch one. And I got refills for it so I'd have backup. Because right now, I don't have a glue tape that I'm sticking to. And I want one to be able to refill. So hopefully if I just get the refills, I'll have them on hand and I'll use this one. Because a lot of my glue tapes just get really messy and the tape starts to break off and it's a whole mess. But I'm hoping that this one won't be a mess. And I'm hoping I like it because I already got the refills. Then I got some distress inks i have gotten the distress spray inks but i've never gotten the actual well these ones are the archival ink but i've never gotten like their ink pads um this is by what is it called tim holtz it's by tim holtz and i really like the colors in this one i like the names of the colors too pickled raspberry barn door spice marmalade and fossilized amber i just love the names of it and so i got this little set and i got the blending tool to go with it so i can apply it and i think i'm also might use it for some stamps as well so i really want to test that out today and then i just got a bunch of stickers so first off i got some fun looking letters this is what they look like it's just a nice font and then on the back we've got lowercase it says it has 209 pieces, so I don't know if it's just those two sheets or if there's more. We might as well open it up. So it just comes with these two sheets, which I'm fine with. Then I got these pressed flower and pressed leaf stickers. Ooh, these are really pretty. those and then lastly for all of it and for stickers i got the wanderlust or just these um travel stickers this is by their collection at michael's and i thought that there was enough in it that i would use i really was i went to michael's to look for travel stickers because i just got a traveler's notebook and I really wanted some travel stickers to go with that. And I thought the designs of this were really cute. Just aesthetically that this was very pretty. I don't think I'll use all the stickers, but I think there was enough in it to make it worth it for me. Like, I love this one and this one. There's just some cute stickers. And then I also liked... I liked these scallop trims. Probably using those in my travels journal, traveler's notebook. Same with these, especially the letters. I wanted some letters for my traveler's notebook. So we'll pull that out in a second. But first, I want to open these up. I've had these little things, these blender tools on my Amazon, like, saved for later and i wanted to use them with the distressed crayons but those they don't sell at michael's those are only online right now on amazon because i think they discontinued them so i finally got these so i'm really excited but we're gonna test them out with these ink pads and i just i liked the mini ones better because i don't think i'll ever need more than that okay let's pull out a journal I'm just going to use my casual journal like it's I don't know what to call this journal this is just my typical journal right now my everyday journal this one is like my dailies my daily journal this one is just whenever whatever get some on and then just rub it around it kind of leaves a mark of where that initial dot on was so it doesn't really blend super well but it does add some texture to the page 
and then hopefully i can just write right over this i'm gonna try mixing the colors a little bit I'm gonna pull out some orange yeah i don't know how i feel about this right now i kind of have to push it kind of hard but i think that looks pretty cool and especially it'd be cool in my daily journal let's try some of this yellow Ooh, that looks so dark but it's yellow that looks really pretty i really like how that looks and it doesn't bleed through at all let's see if that transferred and it's not transferring at least yet just rubbing some of that leftover on i think this is like a nice way to add color to the page and with this you don't have to worry about it drying like watercolor which is nice let's add some yellow to this page i'll definitely keep using these and play around with them because i do think this is a really easy way to add color to the page which i really enjoy but I'm wondering if I could just use normal stamp ink or if these ones are special in some sort of way. And that's why I got them because I have some stamp ink but I was wondering if these work better for putting color onto the page. Because I don't want it to transfer or rub off and constantly get color on myself. Oh, I think that looks really cool. And these are much more spongy than they look. Like, they're just little sponges on here. And that's how they work. So, I think I can just write over them normally. And I shouldn't have a problem with that at all. Put some orange down over here. The one thing about these is, the I think the lid comes off fairly easy. Well, maybe if I press it in, it will be okay. But that's what these look like. I'm going to keep playing around with them. So far, I like them. I think it's blending better. I think you just have to have a lighter hand with it to get a nicer blend. I'm also going to open these up. So I wonder what makes this different than the normal one. It was actually a little cheaper than the normal one. I think it's because it's maybe slightly smaller, but I wasn't mad about that. Now let's play around with these stickers. So here's my traveler's notebook. I just ordered some new things for the traveler's notebook. So I'm gonna have an update video on this. But for now, let's grab these stickers. There's one sticker in here that said travel notebook, I think, or travel journal. So I wanted to put that on my travel journal. Yeah, right here, travel journal. So I definitely want to use this. Maybe right in the middle. Kind of blends in with this. But I think I like it. I wanted to see if there's any others in here that I might want to add. Put the little globe and then I think I want to put a little suitcase. So that's a little update to my traveler's notebook. My travel journal. I got these stickers. So I might do something on the inside. Maybe I'll put 2023. Even though I don't know. This will probably just be for this year. Where should I put Travel Journal 1? No, I'll put 2023. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put this one down. Then let's see if there's any travel stickers I'm going to add along with that. Maybe this one. Oh, this is all one big sticker. Okay, that's the beginning of my travel journal. 
I also really like these little pins so that when I'm writing where I'm going, I could put one of these first and then have the little title. I think that would be so cute. Oh, and then maybe I could put a little rim at the top and bottom. Let's go to the scalloped edge. Let's cut this in half or I'll just rip it. There we go, let me show you. So that's the start of my traveler's notebook. I'm really, really excited about this. And it's so fun to decorate. Oh, I should put down some ink. Maybe some of this red. I haven't tried out the red yet. Just doing it really lightly so it blends better. Probably should have done this before. Now it looks kind of sunburnt. But that's the perfect look for a travel notebook. So here is the final. I love it. Here's the final cover. And the back I'm saving for stickers for where I travel to. But yeah, that's about it for that. I'm just going to put these in here. I wonder how if this, if I could rip out the sheets and maybe they would fit in here. Oh yeah, these will fit perfect. So while I'm traveling, I could just rip some of these out, some of the pages, and keep it in there. Oh look, it has a little traveler's notebook. Or just a travel notebook. So cute. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one.